Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com and we're taking a very first look at the new Chameleon launcher for Android tablets. As you might remember, this was a project that originally started on Kickstarter.com. I'm one of these backers and that's why I got uh, my beta registration or my beta login today. So um, that's how it looks like at the beginning, but I already arranged a little home screen over here. So this is my private home screen and I've added a bunch of widgets over here. You see a weather widget, there is an RSS feed widget. I'm, I'm just fetching the RSS feed from angadget.com and we have my Twitter here and uh, here is my inbox. So what you can see, you can easily scroll through these widgets and it's pretty zippy. The performance of it is good, but you know what? That's pretty much all about it, right? You have different home screens here when you're, when you're clicking on this little button here, it would show you all the different home screens. So here's my home screen, my travel screen, my work screen and a dashboard. And then you can just click on it. Well, normally you should switch over to the dashboard, quite interesting. And when you're holding it, you can just place widgets. And I think that's the same style as in Android Honeycomb. You can't do this anymore with Ice Cream Sandwich or with Jelly Bean. So here we have the widgets. And there are only a bunch of them. So we have Gmail, News, Weather, Twitter, Instagram. Well, I'm sure that you can read this for yourself. Uh, I don't have an Instagram account. So my home screen actually looks um, a little bit empty, I would say. Let's go back here. There you go. I love the performance of these widgets. It's very zippy. And this is also definitely an indicator that Project Butter of Jelly Bean is also uh, working on application and widget level. And when we're switching to the app view, what you can see is that I can't access the widgets of the apps. So all I can do right now is um, I can use these five pre-installed widgets from Chameleon and that's about it. Oh, well, I can also change the wallpaper. Plus, let's go back again. It offers you the chance to use the landscape mode. There we go. All right. And again, I like the performance of it. It has this nice little bounce effect. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still allowed to do this with Apple um, fighting a bunch of lawsuits regarding this effect. And uh, I think even Samsung had to change uh, their Samsung Galaxy line or the Android version on it. Okay, what's going on here now? That's, that's quite interesting. Well, keep in mind, this is a beta, right? They're definitely gonna work on this. And I'm just looking forward to have an alternative wheel tablet launcher for Android and for my tablets. This is running on the Google Nexus 7, the so-called Chameleon launcher. You can download it on the Play Store if you have a beta invite. I'm Sasha for netbooknews.com. Thanks for watching.